Hello fellow orchid lovers, it's Danielle here with an unboxing video that was. So um, my husband and I still haven't gotten uh, cable service here at our new house because it's not available in our area. Uh, so we don't have internet and we don't have Wi-Fi. And so my iPhone has not been ba um, backed up for about four months now. And um, so I have no storage left on my phone. Um, so I was filming this unboxing video and it turned off like it did a couple days ago when I filmed another unboxing video, it turned off and it stopped recording on me. But this time it actually told me why. So um, unfortunately I unpacked most of the plants when it did it. So I'm just gonna go through them with you uh, so that you can see what I got. I apologize for that. Um, it's not as exciting as taking them out of the box and showing them to you that way, but um, I'll just, you know, briefly go through them, show you what I got, and then also show you uh, the pictures that I have. I do have one left that I hadn't opened, so we'll save that for last and we'll open that together. Uh, so we'll go from uh, smallest to largest. So this particular uh, plant, this is a Cattleya that I knew was um, a seedling when I purchased it. Just bear with me one second. I hope that helps with the um, the lighting. Uh, we're getting a storm, so <laughs> it's getting pretty dark out and the wind is really blowing. Uh, but anyways, this is a seed. I knew it was a seedling when I purchased it, but the type of flower that it has, anything that's bigger than a seedling, it's actually really expensive. So I didn't mind buying a seedling and just growing it on. So this is LC Hauserman's Sultan Summer Spectacular. Uh, so it's got a little new growth right there. Again, it's just a little baby, but I have a few seedlings at this point, so she'll just go with the rest of them. And that's what she's gonna look like when she is blooming size. And I just really love orchids that have like that iridescent quality to the petals. I apologize about my wind chime. It's really loud because like I said, the wind is really blowing out there. Um, so then the next one is my first zygopetalum. I've never had a zygopetalum before. I am a little bit confused um, because I've never had one before as to if this is a division or if this is just a seedling as well because I've seen other people um, get zygos and there's usually a pseudobulb with a new growth attached and this is just what looks like a new growth to me. Um, so it might just be a seedling or maybe it's a division off of a bigger plant. I'm not really sure, um, but I'm sure you guys do. <laughs> um, but I'll show you what it is. It's a Zygopetalum Arthur L. York uh, crossed with Blue Blazes Blue Plate Special. So they said that there could be some variation and they can't guarantee what the flower is going to look like, but it should be something like this. Which I thought was really pretty. I like those, you know, funky flowers. So hopefully it'll be fragrant. I don't know if it will or not. Because I've I, I know that zygos supposedly have a really nice fragrance. So that's the next plant that I got. And then I ordered um two phalaenopsis. I've I used to order from Hauserman's all the time when I first started growing. Um, but I haven't ordered for them in a really long time. Um, but I do have several of their plants in my collection. Actually, the vast majority of my collection, you know, when I first started growing was from them. Uh, cause they were the only orchid nursery I really knew about that had a good reputation and I felt comfortable buying from. So I just opened <laughs> the Phalaenopsis and I was just like, whoa, that is huge. <laughs> Like, oh my God, I've ordered Phalaenopsis from them before and they were nowhere near this size. So, I mean, and this was $20. And when, when you see the flowers, I've got two. When you see the flowers, well, obviously it's not blooming. It's got a spike, but it, it's not blooming yet. But um, when I show you the flowers, when it does bloom, you're gonna be like, that was 20 bucks. Because it's more than that in a grocery store, a Phalaenopsis. It's nowhere near this quality, and you kind of just have to take what's available. Um, 
the roots are huge and chunky. There's so much foliage. It's just a really beautiful Phalaenopsis. So I'm super excited about it. So this one is Phal MS Secret Smile. And she, uh, the picture's not gonna do her justice, but that's the picture. So in the description, they say that she looks kind of like red velvet. So I'm really excited to see what her flowers are gonna look like. It really appeals to me. And then the second Phalaenopsis that I got is this one, which also has spikes. It's got two spikes actually. So it's got this really long, huge, beautiful spike. And then it's got this smaller spike right here that is already starting to pop open. So you can already kind of see what color these flowers are gonna be. I only have one other true yellow Phalaenopsis. So I was kind of excited to uh, branch out and get another yellow one. And this one actually, it's not even like yellow when it fully blooms out. It's more like a cream color, or at least that's what the photo shows. So it's like a creamy, buttery yellow. And then it's got purple and pink. And that lip just kind of reminds me of the Schilleriana. So I've actually had my eye on this Phalaenopsis for quite a while. Oh, did I show you the tag? It's Fal Golden Smile. So I've had my eye on this Phalaenopsis for quite a while, but I didn't want to just buy one plant. So I kind of was hoping that by the time, you know, there was enough orchids in, you know, that they were offering that I wanted, she would still be available and she was. So beautiful plant that they sent me, beautiful plant. So excited about that. The next one <laughs> looks like this. <laughs> Can anyone guess what this is? <laughs> you got it, it is a vanilla plant. So I've had a vanilla plant before. It was nowhere near this quality, like, this is an actual vanilla vine. This, I mean, it might still be a cutting. The last one I got was a cutting and it barely had a root system. So it, it, it struggled. I had it for quite a few months. It grew new roots, it grew, you know, top growth, but then it just kind of gave up. So I'm really hoping that this is, if it is a cutting, it's got really well established roots. I haven't taken a look really yet, but I do see roots in the pot, so. Oh, there goes my husband on his dirt bike. So sorry about that if you guys hear him. He's out playing before the storm comes and I don't blame him and I wasn't gonna make him stop playing just so I could film my orchids, but I'm really excited about this because it looks like a really healthy plant. And again, it wasn't expensive. I think it was only like $20. Um, so, but that's the tag. So I'm, I'm, this actually, I think, out of all of the plants I've gotten recently, I'm most excited about the vanilla plant because I love the way it grows. Like, I just really think that's beautiful. So I can't wait to make her happy. So then the final plant will open together. Hopefully my phone will just kind of hang in there and I have enough um, data to record the rest of this. We are in the process of getting cable here, but it costs us a lot of money out of pocket to get cable here because they have like a cap at like $3,000 that they'll, they'll lay out to get you cable to your home. And then after you go over that cap of $3,000, you have to then kick in your own money. So yeah, so it's costing us a lot of money to get it and it's gonna take about four months, so. I don't know what I'm gonna do about my phone in the meantime. But anyways, here's my last plant. So let's take a look together. Wow, it's actually more than one plant. Wow. Oh, this is very exciting. Okay. So this is my last plant. <laughs> um, this is an Ascacentum curvifolium. 
and it's got several fans. I don't know if they're cakeys off of the same. It doesn't look like the rhizomes connected, but they might be. Um, yeah, so very extensive root system, it looks like. These are the roots down here. No green growing tips which may have happened in transport because you know it might have dried out because it doesn't have any media. But um, yeah, it looks like a really nice plant. The foliage looks healthy and firm. It doesn't look dehydrated. I don't see that it's ever bloomed, but that's okay. I, I would really have to look in like every leaf joint to make sure to see that, that if that's true or not. But yeah, it does look like actually the rhizomes are all connected. So this is one of the, um, kind of like my Neo Phoenicia that just puts out additional fans. So I'll show you what the pictures look like. So I'm pretty sure that it's supposed to be an orange flower. So I have two Renko Stylus and I love Renko Stylus. I love the foliage, I love all, everything about them. Um, the fragrance of the flowers isn't fantastic, but I love I love the plant itself, even when it's not in bloom. But I really wanted like a vandacious type that had like an orange bloom. So that's what the flowers are supposed to be like, which looks like on the orange scale to me. So I'm kind of excited about that. So anyways, that's my order. Um, I'm sorry that it didn't come directly out of the box for you guys, but like I said, my stupid phone, just because I'm waiting for internet so I can back it up to the cloud, <laughs> um, because I, I seriously have like 8,000 photos and videos on my, my devices. It's ridiculous. I got to go in and clean it out, but I don't know who has time for that, right? So I hope you guys are all having a great day. Um, and that you're having, you have a great weekend and I will talk to you all next time.